hi and welcome back to my channel it is that time again uh, where I share with you everything I have bought in the last month so today is February the 29th and even though I guess there's still today um, to go I don't have any plans to go near any stores or anything so I feel pretty confident uh, showing you everything I bought in the month of February I feel like I've bought quite a lot well I did before I gathered it all but now I don't know maybe not so much but all I do is keep a little list in my planner of everything I've bought uh, so I don't forget anything. And yeah, I'm going to show you everything I bought in the month of February. So I'll just go ahead and get started and I'll start with the clothing. So one of these uh, you would have already seen if you watched my last vlog when I did my wardrobe declutter. The only thing I was really missing was a pair of jeans. I wanted a darker pair for winter and I found them so I showed these as I said in a previous vlog so I'm not going to talk about them too much but I really like them I've already worn them a couple of times when we've had cooler days and I think they're going to be perfect for winter so really happy to have those and to have my winter wardrobe finished apart from things I want to knit I have seen some items in thrift stores that I really liked and I'm proud to say that I didn't buy them because I really do have everything that I need so unless I find something amazing i am telling myself that i don't need it so jeans and then for tobias i actually did buy two items of clothing this one i did get from the salvation army and it was five dollars so i'm going to be doing the boys winter capture wardrobe soon and i'm pretty sure i've got most of tobias's clothes that i will be able to do as hand-me-downs from Lockie, except for pants because Lockie always wears out the knees and all of his pants but I saw this hoodie and I kind of didn't want to pass it up because it's got a really nice fleece lining that Tobias loves. And it, yeah, I've already tried it on him. It fits him perfectly. It's a size 9, which is crazy for my youngest to already be in size 9. But he'll be turning 8 this year, so I guess that makes sense. And he should be able to wear this right through winter and then in the beginning of spring as well. It should fit just fine unless he has a huge growth spurt. So yeah, I bought that for Tobias. And then Tobias also needed a pair of shoes, so this is actually his old pair because he's wearing his new pair. My kids, as part of their capture wardrobes, generally only have two pairs of shoes. Uh, one sandal and one sneaker, and then in winter they have one sneaker and a pair of gumboots. And that works really well, usually, <laughs> but Tobias has literally worn these every single day of summer, so probably every day since the end of October when it's, the weather started to warm up November he's worn these every day to school to the park <laughs> everywhere so I can't really be mad that they broke but they did when he came home on Friday he was only wearing one shoe and I did think about whether I could repair it but he's actually lost the little ring that the velcro goes through and yeah so that was kind of <laughs> annoying at the end of summer it's the first day of autumn here tomorrow and yeah i was a little bit gutted that i was gonna have to buy him another pair of shoes but it really does stay warm through autumn like we still have some really warm days so he does need a pair of sandals but luckily the universe was shining down on me on this day and i went to the same store i bought these ones from because he's really loved these and they had this exact same shoe in his size but it was in the summer clearance so i think that they're about eight or nine dollars to get a new pair so I was really happy with that. He can wear them for the next month and then I'll donate them and someone else will still get a good season of wear out of them without me having to pay full price. So Tobias got a new pair of sandals as well. And then everything else I bought isn't really a necessity, but just things that I wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and show you them. So of course I bought some yarn. I actually bought three balls of mohair, but one of them is already being used. And these two are going into a sweater so three balls of yarn i'm pretty sure at least for this winter you're going to see yarn, um, yarn purchases every month because i have only just started knitting sweaters and i really like it <laughs> so you're probably going to see more yarn every month uh, i bought two other knitting related things so i'll show them quickly i bought some labels for my finished objects so just these little labels that say i keep you warm that i'm going to sew into things when i finish them definitely not a necessity but just something fun and then i would call these a necessity if you're knitting they are knit blockers so when you block your knits which is basically the first wash after you've finished them and you can shape them and stretch them out if you need to i have just been using 
regular pins and they create quite a wonky edge i found and i did use my sister's ones of these a little while ago and i really like them but i just couldn't bring myself to spend i think these were about 40 dollars for the set of pins but i decided to go ahead and get them so this is what they look like you get a whole bunch of them and i've already used them to block my cardigan and they worked perfectly to create a really nice edge so this is a great thing to have and it's the kind of thing that once you've bought you never need to buy again so uh, a bit of an investment into my knitting hobby but one that i was happy to make and then the last two things were just fun items for the house so i bought this little lamp and i'm putting this on my table next to the couch here where i have my knitting and i set down my cup of coffee or anything like that and this is definitely not for light so i can see <laughs> if i'm reading or knitting but just a little bit of cozy light especially for winter we have led lights uh in our ceiling and we only ever use the kitchen ones the ones in our lounge are so bright so i think eventually we'll get a dimmer but i really just wanted some cozy lighting in here so i have this lamp here behind me and this little touch lamp creates a really nice warm orange glow <laughs> at night so i really like that and then one other thing for my little side table beside my couch is this tray so my mum bought one of these for her little round table and she sets all her knitting or current project in this and it means if she wants to use the table for anything else she can just lift up everything and move it and it also means that i can put my hot drink directly down on this and not worry about damaging the table so i also bought this i think it was about six dollars from kmart <laughs> so uh definitely not an expensive purchase and yeah that is everything i bought in the month of february so i know that some of you are going to start recording your purchases so if you've done that definitely let me know how it went if you were surprised by the amount of things you bought uh yeah but i'll be back again with this uh particular video in march to show you everything i've bought there probably will be a lot of clothing because I'll be doing the boys capture wardrobe in March, but hopefully no clothing for me. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.